Greetings, my friend, and uh, namaste. And, uh, thank you for being here on this wonderful day. I have a new tool that came to me as in form of a download, thinking that, um, yeah, some have wands and uh, others have scepters. So I was thinking, I want to create like an energy device which has like a hundred times the capacity of the key, if not even more. Like imagine like what I put in the key and how tremendous that is that even sometimes people can't even wear it or have to get used to it for a couple of days on, off, on, off till they get into the energy field. Now, this is for the professionals, those that, that dare. This is for the entire house and this is to step into your godhood or your queenhood because I believe you're a god, uh, you're a queen, you're a goddess. That is as in getting used to the energies that are coming in. So I have created this prototype of the Octorian Light Scepter, the Scepter of Ra, Scepter of the Light, Ra means light, or Staff of the Heart, you name it how you please, uh, using original Swarovski crystal, not glass and not acrylic, original crystals, as in fire opal, opal um, indigo, uh, uh, amethyst, um, ruby, um, rhinestone, um, different zirconium, um, I mean I, every, anything that comes to mind I put on here. So what I do is I use copper as in the Venus metal, then um, I fill it with the nano quartz sand, which is nanospherical. Now the generator that is used to um, infuse the light isotopes within the nanospherical sand that I used to, to amplify the crystals that I put in there used to be 10 to the 13th, which is the sunlight intensity that exists outside of Earth orbit unfiltered and undiluted. Again, I explained to you, um, in Japan they send a space probe to outer space just to show you what that does. They measured when does the DNA actually begin to repair itself. And it begins 10 to the 13th. That's when your DNA begins to expand to receive photon at a light fraction that it can be disturbed by lower dimensional entities or frequencies that can stop the process of healing. So now, my friend that has the only chamber in the world, I kid you not, that can do that has jacked up the generator and through uh, downloads and sacred math only a few understand because this is not com coming from books this comes from our own memory banks that we access according to our spiritual maturity now we have jacked up the light infusion infusion into the light isotopes in the sand 10 to the 23rd so much more power and what I do is I use this uh, copper pipe and I fill it with the sand in combination with different crystals that I pick, sometimes 15, sometimes 20 different pebbles, like tumble stone, a little bit smaller so they would fit the pipe. I seal the pipe, you know, and I put the caps on. I studied with, the, this is like 144 different crystals that I put on here. And individually, I have to set them. That is what makes the uh, scepter. And that is for that creation which you will see in the following uh, pictures that are coming up. I don't have a fully developed technical data of what the thing all does. It does all the key does. It heals you. It, uh, it brings in the wind as you, you know, swirl it. You get a lot of action. You hold it in your hand. It activates your parasympathetic nervous system, meaning like if you're not tired, you will rattle, you hold that in your hand, left is a receiving hand, that's for quicker, this is for overall body and projection, you go to sleep and you relax, you sleep with it, dreams will be vivid and lucid and it does tons of things that people report to me, like animals calm down, cats sit on it, begin to purr, it, it heals you, it has a tremendous healing power, it's very very strong, so only for those that are up for it, uh, and then one it already have uh, two sold and I didn't even put up anything yet so this is the first introduction of the Octorian scepter of the light or the Ra scepter 
more staff of the heart and um, more to come I will make another video about the making of the staff and another video like an add on technical data what people tell me what it actually does read on my site ra-key.com what it all does and um, you see how healing the ingredient is that's within the thing and uh, you'll have lots of fun with it and I love creating these things so I will it has a layer of uh, leather and then a second layer of leather and then a copper wire wrapped around it so it is conductive with a grip so you can hold it in your hand it has the holograms in place but covered fully because this is a prototype and then you get to play with it and this is a piece of art so the donation fee is a little bit higher than the key and it takes me like three to four days to make one so when you want to order one from me give me some time to create the thing and get the materials together so you can have fun with it and what I will show you in the, in the video after is that as I place the crystals individually on the tips it's like a holographic star system that is with embedded within uh, the top and I show in a video the reflection that you see how holographic the, the light is that comes back from the staff as you play with it and those that are sensitive anyway you can sense the thing just me holding it like here because light is light information is information whether it's on tape or you hold it in your hand your brain and your cell structure doesn't really know the difference and you'll pick up on this and this is spiritual technology this is not technology like they had in the ancient days that is artificially this is all natural natural components put together it doesn't affect the environment it's uh, biodegradable uh, I think you don't want to lose this and um, yeah wherever you place it things will bloom and blossom and um, flourish and this will hit roughly 500 to 1,000 square feet circumference with photonic light. Now understand, a pebble of nanospherical nanoquartz sand is the equivalent of one kilogram photonic blast of a quartz crystal. Now if you have, let's say, let this be 400 grams. Now can you imagine, I'm holding 20 to 50 tons worth of photonic equivalent of a quartz crystal in my hand that my body is receiving. And as I'm working with the material, I have to stand clear, I have to be pure, purified, because if you're not clear, you detox, and you detox very quick and very fast, because your cells pick up a different light spectrum. This is singular technology. It cannot be touched, fact, by dualistic magic. This is singular technology that is just based on light and color, with no attachment whatsoever that can do anything detrimental to you that what that does it jacks up your aura gets your DNA going and helps your system to find its own way and activate your own healing mechanisms you touch this you walk with this you work with this active as a light worker you anchor very much more light here on earth than you're capable of doing with your brain because you have not reached that light fraction yet which is fact if you use Kilian photography and place it on a thing and take a picture you'll see a corona smack 72 hours after touching this my corona is still smack and um, I'm down to a meal a day I'm more liquid since I have pounds and pounds of that stuff in my house as I need to build more equipment I I so need to clear and be clear in my mind and meditate every day so it basically gently shows you how and where your alignment in your system is and this is more powerful than any doctor bills that you have which can be thousands of dollars yearly you run and run and run and you find no solution this doesn't need any battery this is based on zero point technology meaning the light isotopes in these nanospherical crystals last 15,000 years linear timeline which is fact this is a uh, part uh, German technology we have not found anybody that can translate that site yet but I can confirm that I tried it and tested it and I work with this many years now and um, 
this will be the future even for buildings concrete photonic building substance you know that your house is lit um, we have stuff in there like shungit to break down the EMF and ELF and uh, so you're, you're, you're not being affected by negative radio waves or microwaves that can fry you this basically protects you and uh, even goes over the information of your phone that doesn't mean it breaks down when it comes to your celly it's more like the dark current around the microwave that's coming to your celly that is what's detrimental we don't want that want your DNA to thrive, open up, which is an, is an antenna, you can study that, and receive the photonic substance, which is the ultimate fool of the universe, is the light that is not detrimental for you, that you can build on and your brain can process from there on and build synaptic functions so you can easily be in 5D. And um, people had dreams that they went time traveling with my devices. They were not allowed to take stuff from the old earth, but they were allowed to take stuff like this or the key that could breach that barrier to the next world. So this is the technology for the next world, call it Earth 5.0. And those that are interested, go to my site, uh, raw-key.com, read under um, key info, or go to the contact form, ask me any question you like. Like I said, uh, it's in progress, I'm building up because first I have the uh, downloads and I build it and then I actually realize what it all does so um, I'm having fun creating this actually and I have no concept whatever comes out I'll, I'll bring forth so this is the introduction of the um, Octorian Scepter you know, Staff of Ra, Staff of the Heart the Light Beacon for the human supposed to be. Enjoy. Now have fun with the next images that